everyone. Welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob. With me, where am I? There I am, Rob Biddulph. Now I'm a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen this book. This was my very first book. It's called Blown Away. It's about a penguin here who has a kite that he goes out flying on a windy day and he ends up getting have a look where are we here we go look he ends up getting blown away the kite carries him off and his friends that they all try and help oh Ringo what's the matter hang on excuse me everyone Ringo wants to come in wait a sec come on in dude you want to come in come on in you're going to come and lie down you go and lie down time isn't it oh, sorry about that everyone Ringo wanted to come in and have a little nap he's just been out for a walk you see right where was I yes <laughs> Um, I hope it's going to be quiet. Ringo, you're going to be good, aren't you? I'm recording a video for the boys and girls. Thank you. Um, yes, look, they all end up getting blown away across the sea and they end up in a place that penguins aren't usually found. They end up in the jungle. They have to think of a clever way of getting back home. Maybe you've seen this book here or some others of my Dinosaur Junior series. There's three books in the series and it's all about a bunch of little baby dinosaurs who are making their way in the world and they come across all the same sorts of things that we come across in our lives. Um, so that's a little fun series and there's lots of, little, lots of little dinosaurs in it. There's Greg. We've drawn most of them already. In our videos, we've drawn Greg, Sue, Wilf, Hector. We have drawn Winnie, Otto, Nancy, we have drawn Boo, the pterodactyl, but we haven't drawn, well, we haven't drawn Martin, because he's just an egg. It's very easy to draw. But we haven't drawn Ziggy. And Ziggy is a dragonfly. Did you know that dragonflies have been around since the dinosaur times? They have. They're very, very old. So I thought today I would show you how to draw Ziggy the dragonfly. Yeah, they've been around for like 300 million years. So they were around when the dinosaurs were around. They're like one of the oldest species on Earth and they are very, very cool. They've certainly got one of the coolest names for an animal, I always think, a dragonfly. That is so cool. My t can you hear that squeaking? That's my chair. I'm on a very, very squeaky chair. Sorry about that. I'll see if I can not move too much. But yes, dragonfly is a very cool name, isn't it? It's much better than, you know, housefly. Dragonfly sounds very cool, but they don't breathe fire, unfortunately, but they are still super cool. Right, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. You're gonna need a pen. You're gonna need, or a pencil. You don't have to have a pen, a pencil will do you. If you want to do some coloring later with me, you can get some colored pencils or some felt tips or some paint, something like that. If you haven't got any of those to hand, don't worry, you can just shade it in with your pencil that you're drawing with. It's absolutely fine. Right then, let's start. Now Ziggy, my Dinosaur Juniors character, so the very first Draw With Rob video that I did was Gregosaurus. And I've, as I said, I've done all of them pretty much since then. And they're all very simple to draw. I made them very easy shapes to draw because I thought you guys might like to draw them at some point. And Ziggy is no exception. We've got lots of very simple shapes. Now Draw With Rob, this is how it works. I'm gonna draw a very simple shape. I'm gonna break this drawing down into little tiny bite-sized pieces, you see because lots of people don't think they can draw, but actually what it is is they don't, they just don't know the order to do the drawing in. Once I show you the order, it's easy peasy, I promise you. So I'm gonna draw a simple shape here. Pause your video, copy what I do, draw the same shape that I draw. Start me up again, I'll draw a little bit more. Pause me, you draw. Start me up, I draw, you draw. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And we're gonna end up with a lovely picture of Ziggy, the dragonfly, at the end of it. Right, let's start then, shall we? We're gonna to start towards the top of our page, right near the top, we need to leave a bit of space at the top, but we are going to draw a kind of round cornered rectangle, like that. Easy, yeah, a nice, easy start. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is inside that rectangle, over to one side, we're gonna draw a little circle, like that. Guess what, we're gonna do another one at the other side like that. And inside both of those we're going to draw another circle that we colour in like that. And then another one like that. And just like that we have Ziggy's head. I told you this one was easy, didn't I? Now then, underneath that head we are going to draw a kind of quite big oval shape 
like that. And that is going to be Ziggy's body. I want to say thorax. I'm not sure it is thorax, but that's the sort of the main part of Ziggy's body. Okay. Then coming down from the middle of that, we are going to draw a quite long rectangle. About that long. Okay. You're going to be amazed at how quick this one is. It's super quick. So you can really, it's a good one to memorize and just sort of, if you want to impress, you know, your grandparents when they're next over, you can just quickly whip out a piece of paper, do your shape, do your four circles, do that circle, do this bit, do the rest that I'm going to show you. And within five minutes, you're going to have a lovely drawing of a dragonfly and your grandparents are going to be so amazed at how good you are. Okay, the next thing to do is underneath that, we are going to draw a small circle like that. Okay, underneath that, we're gonna draw another one. Guess what? One more. How many is that? One, two, three. I think there's seven. Four, five, oh, six. I'm gonna try and keep them straight. Mine have gone a bit wonky. Seven. There we go. And that is the bottom half of our dragonfly's body. Now, dragonflies have these huge, long, bodies if you see them zooming over so dragonflies they basically they live in like quite wet areas so swamp land or sort of around pond somewhere where there's water that's where they like to live and they sort of fly usually they fly sort of quite low over the water they sort of skim around but they're super cool because dragonflies they can fly forwards and they can fly backwards and sideways they're like oh, like a helicopter or something they sort of can just go any direction they're really super maneuverable so that's that will make that's what makes them so super cool i think so yeah they have these really long narrow bodies and they also have these huge long wings so we're going to now draw they've got four wings we're going to draw the four wings here so what we're going to do from the middle of the, the thought the bit that i said was the thorax it might not be the thorax but that's what i'm going to call it we're going to draw a really big long wing that comes right out like that curls around again Mine's a bit pointy there, I'm going to make it a bit more curvy, like that, and then it goes right back in to just below where we started, like that. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Now we want to try and keep it symmetrical if we can, so we're going to come out roughly the same length. Again, we're going to turn around, head back in, join up again there. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. It's a little bit shorter, I think, that wing, but it doesn't matter, these imperfections what make our drawings unique there we go now we're going to do another one it's going to sort of we're going to start from the same point that we finished the last wing and we're going to come out but this one's going to be slightly smaller like that and again we're going to join up just below that point so just like that so again we start where the last one finished we come out slightly shorter nice and rounded nice and smooth and we join back up there just like that there we go. And you know what? We've almost finished our dragonfly. That's how easy this is. The last thing we want to do, we're going to give, we're going to give him. This is a him. This is Ziggy. He's a he's a boy dragonfly in my book. We're going to give him nice antennae. So they come up, go around. My favourite thing, little swirl. You know how much I love swirls. We're going to come up around, mirror image, exactly the same. A little swirl. And you know what, guys? That's how you draw Ziggy. Super simple. So do you see what I mean? My Dinosaur Junior's characters are made up of very, very simple shapes. And what that means is it's, they're really, it's really easy to remember how to draw them. I bet if some of you did the Gregosaurus drawing way back at the beginning of Draw with Rob, you can probably still remember how to draw him now because they're so simple, these shapes. And that was done, I did that on purpose because I really like it when my readers can draw the characters themselves. So there we go, that's how you draw Ziggy. It's time to colour him in now. Now in my books, he's caught, he's various shades of blue in my books, but let's draw with Rob. Do whatever you like. You've seen dragonflies before. They're all sorts of different colours, aren't they? Multicoloured, so the more colourful the better. If you want to add some patterns on the various parts of the body or the wings, be my guest, you go for it. The choices that the your is do you know what this is as limited as your imagination is, which is unlimited. So do whatever you like. I'm going to go into super speed mode to colour my Ziggy in. I will see you back here in about 20 seconds. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go.
there we go. My finished Ziggy. The dragonfly. One of the dinosaur juniors. Not a dinosaur, of course, a dragonfly. But super fun to draw, super easy to draw. I'd say this is one of our quickest ones. Mine was very quick to colour too because I kept it very simple. I kept it to the blues that I've used in the book. I'm just going over the black here to make it stand out a bit more. So that is a, if you want to impress people very quickly with the drawing, this is a very good one to choose. Now then, I can't wait to see your drawings of Ziggy. In order for me to do that, you need to get somebody to take a picture of your drawings, post it with this hashtag, draw with Rob. Oh, I forgot to sign my drawing. Mustn't forget to do that, must we? That's where I'm gonna sign mine right down here today, in the corner, Rob. Don't forget to say, sign your drawing so that everyone knows who created this lovely work of art that you've made. So yes, I cannot wait to see your drawings. Hopefully they're multicolored, all sorts of different colors. Um, oh, I added this as well, this little dotted line trail to imply that Ziggy's been flying around the place. So yes, get your grown up to post it with this hashtag here, draw with Rob. That way I will get to see it. Right, I hope you've had fun watching this. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn your notifications on YouTube. That way you'll get to see when a new draw with Rob video drops into your YouTube channel. Um, I hope you've enjoyed drawing Ziggy with me today. I've loved showing you how to draw him. It's always nice to show you how to draw one of my own characters from one of my books. You should check out the books if you like the look, of, look at the characters. They're super fun and there's lots of pictures in there for you to copy too. Um, I'm going to be back very soon with another Draw with Rob video. In the meantime, keep on drawing, keep on practicing, take care of yourselves, be nice to everybody around you and I will see you again very soon. Bye everyone. Just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am again popping up at the end of your video and I'm here to tell you all about the brand new Draw With Rob activity book. It's called Draw With Rob Monster Madness. And I think you're really gonna like it. I mean, of course, inside you are going to meet him, her, don't forget about him. And of course, my favorite, her. So listen, this book is full of puzzles. Um, it's got lots of things where I've started off the drawing and you guys need to finish it off. We have got mix and match monster games in there. We've even got like a monster party invite kit for you to use for your own monster parties. As well as that, we've also packed it full of the regular draw alongs, all of which you get a little picture frame you can do your drawing in and there's perforated edges for you to tear the pages out, stick them up on your fridge or send them out to your relatives. And then of course, once you've finished the book, you qualify for this exclusive monster artist certificate that you get to fill in, frame it and put it up on your wall. Now this book, I think is perfect for any little monsters out there. And guess what? It's out now. You can get it right now from wherever you get your books. So go and have a look online or better still, visit your local bookshop. Right, I'm gonna go now properly, let you get on with your day. Thanks so much for drawing along with me. Don't forget, check out this book and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.